So we're going to make a cash ring. It's a shredded currency. And what I'm going to be using here is um, it's shredded currency from the Federal Reserve of Chicago. And you can go online and order some if you'd like. Um, this little pack is compressed really tight and there's probably enough here for hundreds of rings. So just something to keep in mind if you think you need to buy a larger container. All right, I've actually done this once already and was making the video and I was using this nice little silicone mold here that's about an inch and a half by about three quarters of an inch deep. Got this little hockey puck looking thing. It's too wide, so you end up wasting, I mean, all but about, what, eight to ten millimeters. It's an inch and a half wide and a size ten you can work with an inch. So there's a lot of issues with this. I've gone ahead and made a change. I'm going to use PVC. Um, one inch inner diameter, so I believe that's what? One and a quarter inch outer diameter PVC. And to make it easier to get out of the PVC, I'm going to use some um, transparency film. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and mix up the epoxy. And I'm using Total Boats casting resin. And it is a two to one resin and they have special plungers that automatically measure so, that makes it easy. I did four squirts of each for this. All right, I'll go ahead and, I've pulled a lot of this apart so I can actually get it to fit in here. So I'll start throwing this in. pour this in or as thick as I mixed it up it's more of a place it in than pour All right, let's go ahead and heat that up. So we'll just let that sit until it cures fully. So I'm gonna give it anywhere from one to four days just to make sure everything is rock hard. And then we'll start turning. All right, got a part of it off. Um, the rest of it that's in the PVC, <laughs> I have yet to be able to get this out. It's a lot tighter than I expected. Uh, I'm gonna have to split this open, I guess. Anyway, we can work with this. Works better than the little hockey puck size, so go ahead and start turning this into a ring. So I'll start by taking down the rough stuff at the top and then facing the end so that I can prepare to drill the hole. I start with the center drill, get the pilot hole started, and then I start working my way up at about an eighth of an inch increments in drill sizes until it reaches the point at three eighths of an inch that I can start using a boring bar. And then I'll work my way through until I hit the first ring size that I'm shooting for.
I paint the rod with a permanent marker and then scratch where I want to do the cutoff and then use a parting tool to cut it off at the correct width. Then I use the boring tool again to work my way up to the next ring size. Once that's good, I go ahead and paint it all again, mark it, and use the parting tool to cut the second one off. Since I wasn't sure I was going to do three rings out of this, I didn't bore all the way through, but I can come back and bore everything back out using the drill and then setting up for the boring bit and working my way up to the final ring size, which in this case is a size 9. Since the opposite end is really rough, I go ahead and start facing it down um, so that it's flat and I go until I have the correct width that I was shooting for, which I had marked with the permanent marker again. With a Fordham handpiece and a sanding drum, I go ahead and start sanding the edges down and then switch to sandpaper to smooth it. I work between uh, about 160 grit on up to 1200 grit. Flip it around to the other side and do the same thing. And this is to give it a comfort grip and not a square edge that's painful to wear. Once that's done, I start using cyanoacrylate or super glue um, to start filling in any issues. And that will also be used to allow it to polish easier. Uh, I take care of both sides of that and use the heat gun to speed the drying process. With the super glue completely dry, I start using micro mesh pads, sanding from about 1500 to 3600 grit on the inside of the ring. With the inside of the ring finished, I switch to a mandrel to hold the ring and start taking care of the outside of the ring, smoothing it down, making sure it's all nice and clean. Once it's cleaned up, I go ahead and switch to sandpaper manually again and work from about 120 to 1200 grit. I add four to five coats of CA glue using heat if necessary until that's completely dry and then switch to the micro mesh again. Uh, this time I use from 1500 to 12,000 grit to give it a nice gloss polish. So what do I think? I think the three rings came out pretty good. Um, there's a chip in one of them. It's not really a chip. There's a there's a bubble on the edge. I could have just made the whole ring thinner, but I opted to just finish it as is. So I'm happy with the rings. The only thing I would have done different is when I started, I would have. I would have taken the entire rod down first um, so that the face of the ring was smooth and then parted it just to make it two fewer steps later when I had to do each ring individually. Uh, that probably would have saved me at least 20 minutes um, and probably gone ahead and sanded it and then just touched up the edges on the sanding. So it could definitely be sped up but overall I'm happy with them. So I was shooting for a size 7, 8, and 9, and I ended up with a 7, an 8, and a quarter or so, and 9. So, really not bad. I posted an update on Patreon this weekend. 
um, that said that I had done four rings previously. So this is actually ring five, six, and seven. So overall, quite happy with how everything came out. Um, these are either going to be offered to people I know, or they'll be posted out on Etsy. I'm not sure yet, but if you're interested, um, they might be out on Etsy when this video is published. If you're interested in trying this, I did use Total Boats Casting Resin, and they are offering a 20% discount with the link that I have right here on the screen now. Um, so be sure to check that out if you want to try it. Thanks for watching, and see you for another project video in a couple of weeks, and a tie-dye video this weekend, as usual.